automated, we got automated bottling line. Son, this is just, this is, you're not, you're not kidding. Wow. Wait to eat every one of these is a different flavor? Pretty much. Some of them are the same. Ah. Son! <laughs> Who do we have here tonight? <laughs> That's my intro line. When I start the interview, I say, well, who do we have here tonight? Sal Malatesi, owner winemaker. <clears throat> and I'm not, this is, here we are in the actual wine cellar. This is not just, this isn't just for show up here. This, this is where it all happens. This is where it all, it all comes together right here. Amazing. A little over 6,500 cases per year. I'll wow. produce the bottle right here in the cellar. That's fantastic. In northeastern Pennsylvania. In northeast, no less. Nipa Valley. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Nipa, the Nipa Valley. Nipa I love Valley. it. There we go. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, I mean, everybody, I don't know anybody who's tried your wine hasn't loved it. It's just, you Thank know, you. I have sampled it in the past when I was allowed to. Uh, for that, that cardiologist got involved. But now, <laughs> I have to say, everybody. I'll uh, call them for you then. <laughs> But everyone says it's absolutely one of the, it's got a reputation that's like unparalleled mm -hmm. as far as local wine is concerned. Thank you. So. Thank you. We're trying. We work very hard. Uh, we're here every day. And uh, there's not much that doesn't go into every bottle. I can believe right it. From, right from uh, harvesting of the grapes, we know exactly where they come from. We talk to the growers. We, we, uh, we have an idea um, about where everything happens. Our glass is actually made in Pennsylvania. We wow. buy all of our barrels now from Pennsylvania. It's a true Pennsylvania wine. Yeah, yeah. We we, we do use uh, some fruit from Long Island, and we're starting to use some fruit from California as well. But a majority of our fruit is grown right here in Pennsylvania as well. Excellent. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a local product, locally produced. We have some actual local growers in Falls. We're going to be releasing a new port soon that's going to be um, vineyard designated. That's going to be our first vineyard designated wine. Wow. Uh, Endless Mountain Vineyards. Stan Sawinski, great grower. Excellent. Great guy. Um, <clears throat> so don't mind me. My voice is a little raspy from dealing with the crowd tonight. Well, even it's, it's, it's a raucous crowd up there. Everyone's having a great time. Good. Good, good, good. So that's why we're down here because I couldn't hear you upstairs. You hear me upstairs, right. That's why all the interviews have happened outside so far. Great. So, well, I hope you're having a good time. I'm having a fantastic time. Absolutely. It's just it's a great place to hang out. Sure. Sure. It's a and it's a beautiful place. I have to say, it's just, you, just it's impressive. Well, it's really I, great. That's all my dad's work upstairs. Ah, you know. oh, that's amazing. I do all the wine making. He does all the woodworking. So Th that's a, that's fair. You know, you go with strengths. You yeah. know, that you run with. When did you first decide that this is this was where your passion was? Uh, <laughs> honestly. Honestly. Well, I'll put it this I way. Tell you, Whatever tell story you'd like, you can tell. I will go with it. Well, no, it's the truth. Okay. Really, I could tell you that when I was, it was 1994, 1995, mm -hmm. when I was scraping the labels as a, I was a home winemaker at the time. Okay. And I was standing over my kitchen sink, and I was scraping all the labels off of used wine bottles so that I could reuse them and rinsing them out and then storing them upside down and sterilizing them in the whole nine yards. I would say to myself as I was doing all that, I said, someday I'm not going to have to do this. I'm going to be able to buy my own bottles because I'm going to have a winer. And sure enough. Sure enough. Here we are. Here we are. I mean, honestly, this is just amazing. It's really, I, I, you have no idea when you, when you look at the place that there's this huge place underneath where the magic happens. Yep. Oh, there's magic happening upstairs too, but. Sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. No. <laughs> Uh, well, thanks for giving us, I know you got a lot going on right now, but thanks for giving us a little time today, Sal, and letting us see all this wonderful stuff down here and giving us a window into the place. Window. Yeah, and right, and we normally don't show too many people this place, so you're fortunate. I'm very pleased. I hope you don't mind that there won't there'll be now millions upon millions upon billions of people have access to it. Is that That's it? fine with me. <laughs> very cool. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thanks, Vince. Take care. <laughs>